What's up, what's up? Body Reflections here. This is Belle. Power up, power up. So today we are going to hit back. I love working back. Um, it's a very um, important part of building the upper body. Uh, this is my daughter. She, we have been, you know, this is the beginning of October and I love doing things with my kids. So every weekend we get together and I find something on the internet that's around the neighborhood, fall festivals, carnivals, I, I, anything like at churches, maybe even pumpkin patching. And then we go. And so we did that today. And, and that's then, why you see that I have a cat face. And then on the October, when we get the Halloween costume, we'll have it in, in mommy room. We do the chitter twin and yeah. the ding dong. And you say chitter twin and she do that candy and you that make so good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we're gonna do today. Okay. We are going to do some uh, uh, back exercises. Um, so we're gonna go do a a dead row. A uh, single dead row to begin with, with a, with a full range motion. On that full range motion, I'm going to want you to come up and then uh, squeeze that tush, okay? And then when doing the, that um, dead row, it's almost like you are squeezing um, a penny in between your shoulder blades, the scapula area, okay? So whenever that... Uh, I'm going to be using my barbell. So whenever you come up, the shoulders are going to be in tight. Um, you're going to be squeezing those blades, the scapula, um, as if you are squeezing a penny or a dollar bill as tight, 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 tight as you can. So you can get those back muscles really contracted. You're going to release. Then you're going to come up into a full range. Then we're going to go into a triple dead row. Okay. So that means we're going to bring it instead of just a, once, we're going to bring it three times. One, two, three. Okay. Then we're going to bring it overhead behind our back. And we're going to um, work the back that way. And I will show, we're going to just be doing um, up and down extensions. Okay. Um, this is my little Munch Monster 11. He's, he's the gamer, guys. He loves gaming. He's got an awesome, amazing voice. And uh, yeah, he's got, we have the fun house, which is a lot to do with the family. And um, they got hacked. And, and so anyway, so let me go ahead and start demonstrating this, okay? <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So I'm going to put y'all right there, okay? And I'm going to grab my barbell. Now remember, it's always, always, always important to perform, right? You have to make sure that you have form. Uh, do, the reason why form is so important is because if you don't have form, you can injure, 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 okay? So you don't want to lose form in any of your exercises. You want to make sure that that, that tummy is engaged so that navel into spine, okay? Uh, right, we're gonna be doing our dead rows, right? So it's gonna look like this. The elbows are gonna be in tight to the body. I work with my knees very, very soft. I'm trying to get us unfuzzy. There we are. I work with my knees soft. And I'm, oh, I always push through the heels. Excuse me, Abby. I always push through the heels, okay? So pushing through the heels, excuse me, baby. Pushing through the heels, core is engaged, shoulders are in pocket, okay? And do not, when we're going to that, that dead row, do not uh, hyperextend that back, okay? What, what, what happens there is nerve damage. Uh, excuse me, sweetie. Nerve damage, okay? Uh, nerve aggravation. You're just going to be lay in bed later on or tomorrow after doing this exercise and just feel a lot of pain in, in those nerves. So they're going to go overactive. So you want a, a flat back. And you want to find a focal point 
Okay, so just so you're not gonna wanna hyperextend that neck either, right? So if you hyperextend that neck, what goes with it? The back. Okay, so you don't wanna do that. So you want to bring that nose down, chin down. You can still breathe, right? So you're still breathing. Okay, just pushing through the heel, keeping that, those knees nice and soft, okay? And um, then you go into that dead row, okay? So flat back, navel up to spine. And if it helps, you can always get a, um, a back support, which is very help for, helpful for a lot of people, okay? So I'm going to put my shoulders in pocket. Okay, I'm gonna soften my knees. I'm going to push through my heel. I'm going to have my feet nice and even. One foot shouldn't be up here and one back here. You should be nice and uh, parallel to your feet, okay? So if one foot's one, a certain direction, that other foot should be the same way, which should be forward, okay? So your hip width apart, um, you're a good hip width apart or, or uh, one foot bigger okay but um that should be about your um your width and your leg okay so while she, all of those uh, format uh, the the format is in action right your form is in action and then dead row looks like this okay we're gonna bring it back a little bit so you can see dead row squeeze Full range. Dead row. Full range. Now, whenever you're doing your dead row, you want to make sure that you're squeezing those blades, okay? I love these particular um, exercises, okay? Because you can add weights and it's free weight. Okay, unlike the machines where the machine kind of restricts, I feel like your range of motion. Um, so I work better, and everybody's different. I work better with my my barbells and my dumbbells. Um, I I just I just do, and I've seen more results through my barbell dumbbells than I have with. Uh, machines um, that's just my um, my preference okay but obviously you can you know do it um, figure out a machine that they can perform in, in, in a way where you can get your back um, worked especially with one of the exercises I'm fixing to show you so your single dead row right single dead row squeeze 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 elbows in tight full range do not hyper extend the, the back keep the the chin down. Now we're gonna go into a triple. One, two, three, full range. One, two, three, full range. One, two, three, full range. Okay, so we wanna be doing this 10 to 15 times, right? Right? Yes. Then um, I we go into a what's called a um, a clean press. Okay, clean press. Like this. This is also working those back. Okay, we're gonna be working, clean press. I like to add a little emphasis, so I go down, okay? I'm gonna show you that. On my clean press, I bring it down, right? For a deadlift and up, clean, push. Bring it down, deadlift, clean, push so I mean I'm feeling all of my back muscles here single dead row bam full range triple dead row 
three. Squeeze that bum. Clean press. Okay, so those are very fluid motions that you can play with. Okay, very good. Now, the other is a like a shoulder press only you're going to bring it behind the, the neck and you're going to press it press keep the chin down and work through the fatty tissue of the palm of the hand do not squeeze the bar too tightly you don't want to end up with medial nerve damage and Carpal tunnel. Always remember that after working upper body and training with weights, you want to make sure that you are allowing that um, circulation back into your upper extremity, which means you can clap, you can uh, rotate the wrist. Wiggle the fingers, give your um, hands a good, um, you know, rotation, good stretches, things like that, okay? Make sure you drink plenty of water and make sure that you supply your body back with those amino acids and a good source of protein. Um, you only have a 30 minute window, okay? So after a really, really good, intense muscle training workout or even cardio based workout, because when cardio you're shredding, right? You don't want to shred, wanting to build muscle in the process and then not feed your muscles in that 30, in that 30 minute window, right? Because then you'll, you'll not only lose the weight, but not gain muscle, and then you'll have that extra fatty tissue that you're going to end up having to work for extra hard to gain muscle, or you might not even be able to gain muscle with that tissue because, well, it's just a loose skin. So um, just make sure, um, like, like I said, get that circulation going. I like to clap get circulation going in my hands. Uh, you can rub, snap, you know, just draw blood back to your hands, you right? Rotate the wrists, wiggle the fingers, and I bring it over. I mean, and make sure that if you're gonna be pushing in and stretching, that you don't push through the bone, but rather the, the muscle tissue, that's okay? That's so, the bone broke. Yeah. So um, anyway, so I hope this was helpful. Those are the, the back exercises that I totally recommend. Um, just play with it. I give it uh, a good with the dead rows, the de uh, the single dead row with the full range, the, thir the triple dead rows with the full range and the clean press that I showed you. Time yourself a good five minutes of that. Oh, it will do the trick. Okay. Um, okay, and then with your back um, extensions, I definitely recommend um, a good three to five, five to eight uh, sets um, with 10 to 15 reps, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know, and uh, I'm going to give you a little bit more information on the description below, all right? And keep in tune because I'm going to keep uh, you posted on this healthy chili that I am making, and y'all are going to love it, and it's healthy for you, okay? So power up, power up.